So in the graphic novel, what we do is we talk about how the format of the graphic novel influences content. So there are ways that the different form uh, influences time, sound, tone, theme, all of that. So that's really the basis of the class. Uh, and eventually the class turns into a literature class once the students know how to read the form. I, I think it, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and it, you know, you don't have to be someone who really loves to read. You can be someone who is into cool stories, who likes comics, who likes art. Um, it's really a class for everyone. And we also read some cool stories like The Dark Knight Returns and V for Vendetta. And there are a lot of stories that you don't know that you will eventually. So, so in creative writing, we write and we read. Uh, the first thing we did or we do is read Stephen King's memoir on writing. And what he says is if you want to get good at writing, you have to read and you have to write. So we do a lot of that. And we explore genres such as screenplays, um, we work on dialogue, we talk about narrative writing, we talk about personal narratives. So, uh, and, and really, basically, if there's something that the class wants to talk about, we'll talk about it and figure out a way to incorporate it. I think that during the school day, I think kids get really stressed and I think that writing is a great way to, to, to kind of have a release. There's an option for advanced creative writing and in advanced creative writing the students put all their focus onto one piece that they work on from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester. So there's a, a big payoff there. So there's sort of a mix of like reading, writing, grammar, um, so you'll learn some strategies for taking the test. But even if you don't intend to take the SAT, um, overall it should make you a better student in terms of being able to focus on that reading, writing, grammar, all of those things are not just applicable to the SATs. What we do is we analyze any texts that have film counterparts, okay? So <laughs> essentially we will read a novel, we'll read short stories, any text that we can dive into and, and conduct some literary analysis on that also has a film that we could study. And when we look at the film, we're taking a look at a bunch of different aspects of movies, whether it's lighting or the camera movement or zooming in or zooming out on a particular scene for, for some reason. Basically applying the literary analysis we would do for books to film, only it's film analysis. So it's super fun. Why should students take this class? So I know what you all are thinking. Why would I want to read more books? I already have an English class. I don't want to read more texts. Okay, I get it. However, we're throwing in that film component. So really what it comes down to is if you have an enjoyment of reading and you'd like to read some other material in, in addition to things you read in English class, if you like film, and you're interested in screenwriting or, or you just want to watch movies, well, this is a class that you can take.